dig it here. Yeah, we're down in the middle of the park today. It's uh, Tuesday the 8th. It's warm, humid, but we got a beautiful breeze out here. You guys might pick it up on the mic. Um, well, yeah, we're going to try down in this area today. Uh, pretty darn shallow, and it's probably going to continue to go that way unless we get some stray storm. Dumps a lot in the river. But this week it was looking like most of the rain is going to be south of us. So this should continue to go down. Um, all right, I'll pick you guys up on the first line. Hey guys, yeah, I figured I'd turn you back on for this one. I'm not, it's just a kind of a scrappy piece of metal. But like I told you guys, always check your stuff um, real close. I can see something written you know, or stamped in that. I don't know if it says bird. Not sure what it could be. Um, and we'll get it home, try to clean it up carefully. Uh, see if we can get what those initials are. And I'm not sure what this thing is on top. It looks plastic, so I don't think it's overly old. But, yeah, it just looks stuff over well. Yeah, B-U-R-D is what I see. All right. Well, I'm going to continue working along. There's a lot of metal in this area, so I'm going extremely slow and uh, trying to pick out those high tones. All right. Catch you on the next one. Hey guys, came across my next little find here. Let's see if I can find it again. Waiting for this water to clear up a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go down and grab this. There we go. A little piece of a pewter top. This was ringing right down in the whole low 30s, but it was a solid signal. So, those are kind of what I'm digging today. I'm just trying to dig those solid ones. All right, catch you on the next one. All right, guys, I have a nice tone down here. It comes up as brass. Um, I can see something down there. I moved around the rocks and threw things around a little bit. Not sure what it is yet. Let's go down and uh, check it out together. Hey guys, yeah, I had a nice little high tone right here, and the first thing I pulled out was this nail, and I knew that wasn't going to be what was giving me that tone. Rechecked it, and let's see where it is. Right down here. You guys might be able to see it through the water. Let's go down and grab this puppy. That's a beautiful brass lock right there. I can see a little bit of text up here. We might be able to figure that out. Y and T. And it's a Yale lock. Well, awesome little relic right there, boys and girls. All right, we're gonna keep working around. Usually this area here is a little bit too deep to hunt, so it's gonna be like first time hunting. Yeah, that's an awesome piece. It's probably my best pad lock right there. All right, we're gonna keep hunting around. Hi guys. Yeah, I was just over here digging up a piece of aluminum and this little thing caught my eye. Put the pinpointer down on it and it's definitely metal. I think it's a toy car. But it's uh, pretty much covered. Let's see if I can reach down without filling my waders up and uh, we'll go grab it. looking low crap all right yeah we're finding some goodies in these little pockets here we can't usually get to so then keep hunting until the back tells me not to all right catch you on the next one hey right, guys I eyeballed something when I went to lean down over this rock I also eyeballed a, a bottle there so we'll check that out after but let's go see what this thing is first I'd say part of a screwdriver. I think I can still hear the bits inside of it. All right, I'll take that. Let's check this bottle out right here. Uh, 
No seeing any in Boston. It's not. I don't think it's super old. But, I don't know, I might leave that right there for the next explorer. They want to collect that one. Throw this thing in my pocket. All right, we're gonna keep moving around. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm right down and around where I found that uh, beautiful uh, silver shoe buckle in this little deep hole. Now, you know, a lot of stuff gets caught down in here, and there's a lot of big deep holes up there that we'll never get in. But I just had nice, real high tone, and I can't reach down to pick it up because uh, it's too deep. We're gonna go down together with a shovel, and uh, we'll grab it. hefty too. Thinking it's brass. No, nope, cool little piece. Well, we're gonna try keeping getting into these deep spots here as much as I can. And I'll get you guys back on them if I find anything else. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Yeah, I had a good time on the river today. Um, but I can't leave this river without one of these things. And uh, this one's a surface find. Maybe you guys can see it right down through there. Let's go down and grab it. I thought it might have been a fishing lure. Guess not. It's a tick tool. Yeah, I'll keep that. Use it on the animals if I need to. Well, it's got a little carabiner too. All right, well, yeah, I guess it's one way to end the day. But I'm going to go home, get changed out of these wet clothes, and uh, chill out for the rest of the day. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next hunt. Hey, guys, DF Digger here. Um, back up in uh, Guilford area today. Uh, river setting just about 1.8 feet right now. Um, yeah, we just haven't got any rain. As um, soon as the water starts, stops going over these falls up here, everything down the river uh, will dry up, and we may be able to get back into the uh, middle of the uh, dams. Uh, sorry if the wind's making that loud. Um, what I'm going to do today is really we haven't hunted up in this area because it's generally too deep. Um, but as you guys can see, it's fairly shallow. Let me see if that helps out, tell out the rocks and stuff. But I mean, it's shallow right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross over the river, head up that shoreline, get up in there. Uh, generally the majority of your finds are going to be right below the bridge and then they you know peter out as they go down river um and i've seen that over out of seven different bridges uh four of them i've hunted um and have found stuff from the bridges down the other bridges um didn't have any population around them so we're going to give this a try and uh see if we can pull anything out all right catch you on the first one all right, guys, uh, my first find here, and uh, just in here a few minutes, is this piece here, and it's very heavy. I want to say it's brass, and um, it's got a couple of recess holes. I'm not sure if that could have been the old butt to a gun. Possibly. It's a little bit curved, like it should be, but all right, we're going to throw it in the bag, and yeah, I don't know. I might not have to cross over to the other side. This side is pretty shallow, so I think I'm going to come up here, meander around up there, and then probably come back down that side over there. All right, catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Yeah, I figured uh, I'd have some luck up here. Now, this is just the first good find. I do see a fishing lure right there, so maybe that was a good luck charm, but just had a nice tone right here. Um, let's go down and grab it and see what it is. an old pewter pewter vase or something we have found some beautiful little pieces of pewter down through here so uh, I guarantee you as we get closer to that 
those falls there, we're gonna find, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna believe what just happened. Just moving that in the water, that was that brittle. Um, broke the top off, but you know what? Super uh, hot glue does wonders. So, <laughs> all right, either way, um, we're gonna continue hunting around there, guys, and uh, definitely get you back on. Hey folks, um, yeah, I worked up to the dam there. Um, there's a lot of slate on the river bottom up here, um, which makes it kind of smooth. Um, so I'm thinking when water's coming over heavy, it's probably going to skip a lot of stuff right along the top of that. Um, at least that's what was my theory coming down through this waterway right here. Well, I just started getting off to the side a little bit, and I come across a beautiful item, which is going to force me to go back up and work all this rocky stuff here. So uh, let's go down and take a look at it. That's what I came up here for. That's a gorgeous little piece. Yeah, there's got to be more of it around here because I'm thinking that's probably one side of a handle and there would be something in between here. So, all right, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be forced to go back up through this stuff here and uh, look at these signals. Uh, just for hoots and hollers, I'm going to let you guys see what I'm seeing for VDI numbers on the simplex. So we're right down in the low 70s, um, and that's a towing I'm going to be looking for right now. Um, but I have had pewter come up in all different ranges of numbers. So if it's a good signal, you dig it. All right, catch you on the next one. Yeah, just to let you guys know also, there is a tremendous amount of metal all through here. But I'm keeping my eyes open, and I see a couple different things that I just eyeballed. And what do you guys think this might be? Could it be a bell? Oh, do you guys think it's a knob or some sort? Yeah, it's a bell. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, 104, guys. All right, and I saw something else over here. Oh, that has kind of a gray tinge to it. You see that right there? hefty piece whatever it is I don't know I might be able to utilize that whatever it is <laughs> it's too heavy to be pewter so I'm thinking it's some sort of a brass or something but stuff it in the bag and yeah you guys can see there's just stuff everywhere in here but I'm trying to pick around it and just get the, the good tones all right catch you on the next one all right, guys, yeah, my next find here looks like we have part of a fishing reel. I'm not going to take you underwater so I can keep the mics kind of clean, but yeah, that's exactly what we got. I mean, I guess it could be part of a, yeah, it could be part of a clock. That's what I'm thinking now. This is no major hole through this side for the reel to go through. Who knows? Probably a clock. All right, and I did see something shiny over here. Oh, let's see. nice shiny piece of steel yeah throw that in the bag too all right um i don't know how much longer i'm going to stay here guys my back's starting to act up a little bit so um i'll finish up what i can and uh find what i can all right catch you on the next one all right guys yeah, i have another little piece which i think is going to be pewter Got a nice little design around it I'm not sure if this would have been the top uh, Definitely has the texture and the uh, color for pewter, though. I'll clean it up a little later, get some better pictures of it. All right, catch you on the next one. All right, guys, yeah, I'm heading out. Uh, back is uh, screaming right now. But tomorrow, Richie's coming up, and we may uh, either come back down here, <coughs> excuse me, hit the stretch going down, or we may go back up to, uh, oh, where we found those de bells and pewter in the last video. So, uh, well, we'll see. But, catch you guys on the next hunt.